Welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts, the newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Barb Mitchell, coming to you from ITW 2020. Joining me today is Halil Kama, Senior Business Development and Peering Advisor for the London Internet Exchange, Lynx. Uh, Halil, welcome. Welcome to JSA TV. Great to be here. So for those of our viewers who don't already know, uh, can you tell us a little bit about the London Internet Exchange? Well, the London Internet Exchange, otherwise known as Lynx, is uh, one of the leading internet exchanges um, in the world. Uh, we have 918 plus members. Uh, we're in 81 countries around the world, um, serving the very core of the internet on a, a flat layer two, essentially. So, I mean, a lot's been happening, obviously, in the world lately, <laughs> goes without sure. saying. You know, we're here connecting uh, virtually for the first time ever uh, at ITW uh, this year. Uh, what does that mean for you guys? What's, what's been um, happening? How's it impacted uh, your business at Lynx? Uh, well, at Lynx, we have all of the large content providers, um, telco networks peering at our exchange. Um, so we've seen firsthand um, the impact that uh, COVID has had on the telecom sector. Um, in a negative and a positive way. Um, so we've seen members obviously quadruple in traffic and we've seen some members um, reduce their traffic to the point where it's literally zero because their business model has changed um, literally overnight. Um, that's, you know, we've had a few ISPs that serve hotels and things like that um, that are facing difficult times. And we have obviously the content guys um, or Zoom, et cetera, that are, that are um, struggling to keep up with demand at the moment. Um, at Lynx, we've seen our, uh, which has obviously impacted our ports um, usage, and uh, we've seen our ports in increase by about 30%, um, which is huge for us. Um, this is normally, uh, that kind of increase is normally expected within a calendar year, and we've been able to do that within three months. Um, so it's, it's very interesting times at the moment. That is interesting. Amazing, really. What do you, what do you think the future it looks like. I mean, do you expect, I, I'm assuming that, <clears throat> excuse me, you're, you're talking about this uh, a lot and trying to plan for, for what comes next. Uh, what are your mm -hmm. thoughts? So for us, it's always um, a case of staying ahead of our members' needs, um, which is higher data rates at a, a lower cost value. Um, so we're always trying to lead the way in innovation in doing that. Um, for us specifically, now that obviously COVID, is, as I mentioned, um, kind of brought, brought us into 2021 in terms of port capacity already. Um, so for us, our engineering team are always planning two to three years ahead and anticipating what our members will be using in terms of capacity so that obviously we could serve the, um, the membership and keep up with demand. Um, so for us, it's, it's looking at things um, like port utilizations, um, trying to predict trends of how data is going to grow and when it does grow, for us to be ready and be able to service obviously our networks that um, uh, are operating at Lynx. Um, a lot of the networks that do pair at Lynx use our exchange for mission critical um, infrastructure. Um, so they rely heavily on Lynx and our exchange platform um, to provide services for the everyday user, uh, for businesses across the globe, um, which with the very glue that holds um, uh, quite a large parts of the um, internet together in UK. Um, so with that, we've got the heavy burden of being able to um, forecast the data usage for the yeah. people that use our services. So important. And what, what do you think are the key challenges that that um, sort of offers you? As, as so the key, the key challenges to it are twofold, I'd say. Um, one is that if this COVID situation is going to go on, how long is it going to go on for? And will the data need of the consumer change? Um, so from that, we're seeing, uh, obviously, everyone is homebound at the moment, worldwide, almost pretty much. Um, so the trend in traffic has changed dramatically. Um, when people start to slowly go back into offices, will that have an impact on the networks that have already upgraded? Will they then downgrade? Um, that's something to consider. Uh, but with 5G coming along um, and data usage ramping up daily, really, for every walk of life um, that you can imagine, from... IOT and fridges, uh, cars, um, to everyday data usage on your phone. Um, it, it's all increasing at rapid rates. Um, so the challenge for us has always been to increase capacity, 
and uh, maintain resilience of five nines across our network whilst doing so. That's the key challenge for us going yeah. forward. Well, I mean, it's so important. I'm so um, thankful to you for, for uh, talking to us today and, and telling us all about all this, you know, the important efforts that, that you're making mm -hmm. at the London Internet Exchange. Um, for our viewers who want to, to learn more, or potentially connect uh, with you or someone on your team, where can they go? So we attend many events all across the world. Obviously, that's all digital right now. Um, but feel free to say hi to the team or myself um, if you do spot our names um, at an event. Um, aside from that, you can reach us at uh, links.net, and there you'll be able to get um, information on the many regional exchanges we have. Um, the regional exchanges in the UK, such as Links Manchester, Links Scotland, um, Links Wales. Uh, we have a, a exchange over in uh, Northern Virginia called Links Nova, um, and that's for US traffic. And uh, our latest exchange, which is uh, JEDIX in partnership with STC, um, which is the first international exchange in Saudi Arabia. Um, so it has all the info there on the site. Yeah, fantastic. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, so links.net uh, and, you know, for more information on all of your various uh, sites worldwide, really. Um, thank you so much for joining us today. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV and JSA podcasts. Happy networking. Thank you.